Hey growers, before you drop those seeds in the ground, let's talk about your soil. I'm not talking about the obvious stuff like adding compost or tilling. No, today we're diving into some lesser known hacks that actually make a big difference, and they're backed by solid soil science. First up, don't till unless you have to. I know it's tempting, but tilling destroys fungal networks, especially the mycorrhizal fungi that help your plants absorb water and nutrients. Instead, use a broad fork, or just layer organic matter right on top of your beds. Let the microbes and earthworms do the work. Next, add a fungal compost, not just regular compost. Most home composts are bacteria dominant, which is fine for leafy greens, but if you're growing fruits or cannabis, you want a fungal dominant mix. Add shredded wood chips, leaves, and even a handful of forest soil to your compost to boost fungal activity. Now here's one most people skip. Remineralize your soil with basalt rock dust or azomite. These aren't fertilizers. They're mineral sources that replenish micronutrients depleted over time. Plants only need trace amounts but they matter for strong growth and pest resistance. Another trick, brew a protozoa tea before planting. Most compost teas focus on bacteria, but protozoa feed on bacteria and release plant-available nitrogen. It's a natural slow-release system. You can culture them using a small aquarium bubbler, a pinch of oatmeal, and leaf mold in dechlorinated water. Also, test your soil biology, not just your NPK levels. Companies like Earthfort or Soil Food Web Lab offer microbial testing. Knowing if you have enough nematodes, protozoa, and the right fungal-to-bacteria ratio can help you amend with precision. Here's a good one. Biochar precharged with compost tea. Biochar on its own can bind nutrients and make them unavailable. But if you soak it in a rich compost tea first, it becomes a microbial condo. It improves water retention and gives your microbes a long-term home. And don't forget, cover your beds for two weeks before planting. Use a silage tarp or thick mulch layer. This warms the soil, wakes up microbial life, and helps with early weed suppression. Microbes don't like sudden changes, so this transition period helps stabilize the soil food web before your roots show up. One more, add humic and fulvic acids. These aren't fertilizers either. They're organic compounds that help chelate nutrients and stimulate microbial activity. Think of them as natural enhancers for root function and nutrient absorption. Last but not least, plant a microbial trap crop before your main crop. Something like buckwheat or oats planted a few weeks early can prime the soil with root exudates that stimulate beneficial microbes. Then you chop and drop it and plant your actual garden. So there you go, real soil science, not fluff. Backed by years of data from the soil food web and regenerative growers around the world, treat your soil like a living ecosystem and it'll pay you back every season. Happy growing!